Hey, what's up? This is Atomic Swift. Welcome back to another one of my videos. If you read the title of my video, today I'm going to show you how to fix Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection so it works on Windows 10. And I think it's broken for other versions of Windows 2 because when Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection came out for Windows, um, it came with the, um, what is it called? Game, game, what is it? Damn it, what's it called? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's called the Microsoft Games for Windows which is an online, like, uh, Games for Windows uh, live thing that uh, Microsoft has since discontinued. So if you try to launch the game, you will get, uh, it'll the game will freeze, pretty much. So what you have to do is uh, just install the game like normal, and, uh, you know, no matter where you get it from, uh, legitimate source, torrent site, news group, doesn't matter. Once you install the game, like I said, you're going to try to start it in Windows 10 or even uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, whatever. The game's going to freeze. So what you need to do is you need to go to your add remove programs. You need to search for uh, Microsoft Games for Windows Live redistribute uh, re uh, redistributable uh, and Microsoft Games for Windows. Find both of those in your add remove programs. Uninstall each of those and then reboot your system. And then you're going to go to the link that I'm going to provide and you're going to download. Yeah, you're going to download, where, yeah, so you're going to download MKAK Fix, and we're just going to open it, and see, you're going to, so you're going to, damn it, let me, let me just move this here, oh, no, not, I don't want to move, I wanted to copy it, what am I doing, okay, keep it for future uh, in case I need it okay so you're gonna end up with this MKAK fix file once you download it uh, from the link I provide of course then you're gonna extract to you know whatever we'll just extract it to the uh, folder right there so you're gonna end up with this uh, directory right here this is X live list and then X live DLL and X live dot any which is the uh, uh, initial <coughs> initialization file there we go oh, what the hell okay so then you're going to go to wherever you installed mortal kombat if you forgot just uh type mortal kombat arcade well start typing mortal it'll pop with the arcade collection you're going to go to open file location right click go to properties see and it's going to show you right where it's installed mine is in uh, c drive program files x86 wb games so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your my computer then you're going to go to C drive, program files, x86, if it's the same as mine. And then you're going to go to WB games. You're going to go to Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection. Then you're going to go to binaries, Win32. And see if you look in my folder. See, I already have them. xlive, xdll, and xlive.ini. You're just going to highlight both of them. Uh, you can copy. You can move them, you know, whatever. And then it's going to ask if you want... It might ask if you want to override. I don't think so because you uninstalled them. So you just drag those into there, and you'll see them in your uh, in your games uh, directory, just like that right there. And then to test it, you are going to run the game as administrator. And I did just realize starting it. See, it's down at the bottom. See, it's going to it's going to pop up and say just like mine did the time before and the time now. See, it says Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection not responding. Just let it sit there for a second because it's going to respond and it's going to launch the game. And just so you do know, the online does not work obviously cuz it's a cracked game. Um, let's see. Well, actually, we'll try that. I I don't think the online worked. Because of the you know, most cracked games, it doesn't. Plus, uh, Games for Live is gone. So, yeah, the, Microsoft discontinued that. See, so we gave it a second. It's going to launch in. See, so hit enter, 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 enter. Come on. So, hit enter. See, that's where it would freeze before when you had Games for Live installed. It would say, press enter, and it, would, it wouldn't let you. So, we're just going to go. Oh, see the lot. Yeah, see the live is the guide. Play online matches. We'll just search for a match. I'm sure it's not going to find anything.
It does actually look, though. But anyway. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hit back. See, now you can select the, uh. Which I really like that they included the cabinets like that. Because that's so cool. I have this on 360 as well. And it's really awesome. I like that it shows individual cabinets. So, whoops. Damn it. So just to show you that it does work, we're just going to go into Mortal Kombat Ultimate MK3 real quick. And the, the button layout is, is weird. So like, hi, because I'm using the keyboard, I don't have my uh, a gamepad uh, hooked up, you know, for the purposes of this video. I didn't hook one up, but uh, like high punch is like, a, no, high punch is, high punch is D, low punch is S, uh, low kick is X, and high kick is C, which is fucking weird. And then... I don't even... Oh, block is A and fucking run is Z. Boy, that's weird. Okay, but anyway. Um, you know, it looks at... I was just making a quick video just to show you how to do this. Like I said, I'll provide the link down in the comment section. Or I'm, I'm in the description of my video. And, uh... Yeah, because this really frustrated me when I, when I installed this game that I couldn't fucking play it. It really pissed me off, so... I looked online, found this solution, decided to make it into a video, provide the link, and, you know, help everybody out, and, uh, you know, have fun playing Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is my favorite fighting game of all time. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching my videos. I appreciate all likes, comments, subs, and as always, bye for now.